All right, the first thing to remember when you're just starting up with Music One is that it does not contain any music. You don't put any audio files into Music One. Instead, Music One contains information about the audio files. That information goes onto our song cards. There are quite a few fields on the song cards, but the four basics, the four requirements are title, artist, length, and the cart field. Now, of those four, this is the most important one. What you have here is what goes into the playlist that Music One makes for your playout system, so the playout system can find and play that track. Professional automation broadcast systems use a number here almost always, uh, but most playout systems for internet radio use a drive path file name. Before you import any song data, you must first check and correct the tags. That is the metadata that is contained within each audio file. If you don't know what an MP3 tag is, then see the other video that I have posted explaining that. You can check and correct MP3 tags with a lot of different software. It can be done with RealPlayer, with Winamp, with Windows Media Player. Uh, you can update tags directly from the file folder in Windows 7 and Windows 8. If you find that you have a lot of tags that need to be corrected, and most people do, then it's probably best to use some tag editing software, tools that are made just for this purpose. The one that I use is Media Monkey. The basic edition is free. You can find it with a quick search online. Here's how to use it. With Media Monkey loaded, open the menu File and select Add Rescan Files to the library. Be careful here so you get it to scan only the folders that contain the audio files that you're going to use on your radio station. Otherwise, you'll get every piece of audio on your computer, including all the Windows sounds and all the sounds that may be installed by other software. It won't hurt if you get that stuff in, but you will wind up with a lot of unnecessary clutter if you do. If you do happen to get a lot of data into it that you don't need, you can clear the library and do it over. Go again to the File menu and select Clear Database. This action will not delete your audio. It'll just remove the data from MediaMonkey, and then you can do a rescan. After you have scanned your audio folders, you can see your data in various ways, with different columns displayed. Put your pointer in the header here, and do a right click, and when you select one of the fields or deselect one of the fields, that data field is either added or removed from your view. What you want to be able to see is the title, and the artist, and maybe the album too. When you see something that needs to be corrected, click on that line, pause a second, and then click on the field that you want to edit. If you click two times quickly, MediaMonkey will launch and begin playing that file. So to edit, you want to click once to select the line, pause for a second, and then click on that field that you want to edit. Scroll up and down the list to spot things that need updating. If you click on the title heading, all the files that have missing title tags will come to the top of the list. You can do the same with Artist. Every file must have a title tag or else it cannot be imported into Music One. Things that are not songs do not have to have an artist, so jingles and voice tracks and station promos, those just need to have title. The artist field can be left empty. The same thing with long-form programs. Those things uh, do not have to have anything in the artist field. After you have your tags in good shape, then you can import your library data into Music One.